Association and its volunteer members raised the PGA Tour Wives Association and its volunteer members raised millions of dollars for charity. The group is publishing a new book to mark its 25th anniversary. It is called Beyond the Fairways and Greens, a look inside the lives of PGA Tour families. Three of those wives are here this morning. They are Dowd Simpson. She's married to Webb Simpson. Sibby Kucher is the wife of Matt Kucher, who came to the green room this morning. We like him already. And Mark Wilson's wife, Amy, is president of the PGA Tour Wives Association. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. May I just say, first, the book is beautifully done because it includes recipes, some of my favorite stuff. I don't cook, but I want to lick some of the pages. But this is what's interesting about you guys, because you want to make it clear, we are not ladies who lunch, who go to the mall. We are very committed to the work that we do. And you do say we do do work. Yes. Amy, you lead us off, please. Yes, absolutely. This is the 25th anniversary of our association. And uh, we lift up children and their families, and we do it as we travel the country with our husbands. So between 15 and 20 weeks a year, we go into the local community, and we either do an event where we are hands-on, like a Habitat for Humanity build, or we're cooking at a Ronald McDonald house, or gutting houses after Hurricane Katrina, um, or we do events where we raise awareness and money. We partnered with the Avon Foundation, and we did a walk to raise money for the fight against domestic yeah, violence. You're doing more than just looking yes. pretty. Yes, yeah. I wanted to make about you. <laughs> for yeah, sure. And in the process, you've raised $5 million for charity. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Well, tell me about the association itself, per se, beyond this. What, what does it do? What's its purpose? Well, we're comprised of women from all over the world, really. I mean, we're, we're wives, we're sisters, mothers, girlfriends of PJ Tour players. Yeah. And because we're so fluid and we're in different cities every single week, I mean, we pack up. Um, the three of us all have children. Between us, I think we have seven kids. But you know what I thought was interesting about your lives? Unlike other athletes you were saying, you guys are on the road a lot. Yes. I mean, so every week when you check into something, you said, Doubt, it's like starting all over again. Yes, home now what has become where all of us are rather than four walls and a roof. But it changes every week, it does it It certainly does. Sometimes we rent houses, sometimes we take hotel rooms, suites. So the kids are in one room and Webb and I are in another room. Sibby is like the world traveler with her kids. She goes yeah. to Bora Bora, New yeah. Zealand. <laughs> We're very yeah. fortunate to have But nothing kids. is so great and so, so, so satisfying as when your husband wins and to see them walk off the 18th and go grab you yes. or, and then the children come running up mm -hmm. I mean the moment of celebration there yes it's nice to make it a family event it's also nice let's say they don't win because only mm -hmm. one guy gets to win out of right. all of the professionals that are there it's so nice to be able to come home to your family to go, how about oh. the golfer who won recently and patted his wife on the bottom didn't we love that <laughs> moment <Jason. laughs> Was that Charlie? Uh, Jason Depp. Yeah. Didn't we love that moment? <laughs> it's thought, very real. No, I thought that that moment. was such a real yeah. moment because when you think about the tour, you know, when the whole Tiger Woods happened, so let's talk about that for just a second, that kerfluffle. Did you all call each other or call your husband and say, what in the world? Did you all, is it something that you think about because you hear about athletes on the road, and I know many times you're on the road, but is it something that you worry about, Dad, the hanky panky that we hear about on the road? I do How not do you handle it? Well, I know that Webb's only having hanky-panky with me. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean. I do. You know I what do. I mean. Uh, Webb is amazing. He surrounds himself with a lot of accountability. He's got some friends that he calls if he's on the road alone. Mm -hmm. um, they can help him, you know, deal with life by himself. Mm -hmm. uh, I think also it helps that we just travel. Yeah, I think what it does help. What yeah. do the, the two there. of you think your role is in terms of support? I mean, how do you support yeah. Your husband, I'm, who's in a I, very, very, very challenging I career. would say that, you know, they, they all have their coaches and their trainers and their, you know, swing coaches right. and all of these things. And um, as wives, we wear many hats. We play many yes. roles. Mm -hmm. And um, the one role that no one else can play is, is the wife. Right. And That's I'm the right. only one that can love him. Right. I love that. And, yeah. Sibby, and you, so, your husband almost would have been a tennis player, so it would have been a different thing for you life on the road. Matt was also very good in tennis. He was. And you too. That was his, his first sport, my first sport, only sport. <laughs> um, we were lucky in that the golf and tennis are so similar with the, the type of lifestyle and the independent competition. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you. The book Thank is you. very book is well done. Beyond the Fairways and Greens, it's available now. You can watch CBS Sports coverage of the Barclays this weekend, Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern, Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, here on CBS. Many big names have one place to visit when they go to Washington, D.C.